What's up, YouTube? This is CSX Driven, and I'm bringing you the very first mission in De Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is the introductory mission, and uh, this is the very first day it's come out, August 23rd, so anything posted before here was illegal. <laughs> so, technically, I suppose this is one of the first videos, despite those guys who get the game early. And um, I'm just going to be showing you uh, the very first mission. It's a uh, theme of this mission you have to go around saving this company from these bad guys you don't really win at that but that's all right and so i'm going to quickly fast forward through the cutscene, and i'm going to start a review of the game i've been playing for a couple hours now i've finished a few of the missions and i'm generally liking it it's a pretty good game i know i liked brink and i gave a good review to that and people disagreed with me but i'm going to go ahead and give this one a great review also because the graphics are pretty decent they're not uh, as good as I've ever seen. I know that in games like, um, I know in other games, like, even, th these are even, like, on Call of Duty levels for, for graphics, so, I mean, not the best. And, moving on from graphics, uh, gameplay, there are a lot of cutscenes, like this one, this cutscene's originally, like, five or six minutes, and it's one of very, of many, I think there's been four or five so far in two or three missions, and so, and they're each, a decent amount of time so if you like a good story this has a pretty decent story and what else uh the shooting this is a first person and the third person shooter you stay in first person until you go undercover and then you go to third person i've been finding the controls a little bit hard to get used to because they're counterintuitive you have to use you have to press sticks to aim and you have to do a couple other things to move around so in a way it's a little bit like gears of war i suppose so if you're a big gears of war player you'll definitely enjoy this game um, but, uh, for shooting at least. And, but otherwise, it's a pretty decent controller setup, so the gameplay is e pretty easy to do. Um, pretty standard, you you shoot with the right trigger, you run around with the, uh, left bumper, switch weapons with the Y, all sorts of things like that. And so it's a pretty easy game to play. I'm playing on the hardest level, and it didn't seem that hard to me, so hopefully when I get to higher levels, it gets harder. I'm not really sure if that's how they meant it to be, but... Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, um, so we'll see. Uh, at first, it's a little bit hard to figure out where to go, because it's the exact, uh, you have to be pretty much right on it to get the uh, thing to show up. That's a, I think that's a pretty good feature, so in, in case you're sort of looking around, just looking, and you happen to go over something, you don't find it. You have to find it because you actually see it. And um, going to the gameplay now, because that's sort of all my review. It's a pretty quick review. Um, don't know what much else there is to say. Gameplay, graphics, uh, controls, all that's great, I feel. And I would probably, as of right now, um, agree with PC Mag 94%. Uh, Xbox Mag gave it a 10 out of 10. PC, PS3 Mag gave it a 8 out of 10. I think 8 out of 10 is too low. This is a really good game, especially for its type. Uh, adventure shooter. And there aren't a lot of adventure shooters out there that are really quite good. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this tutorial. I'm going to be posting a compilation of all of the tutorials later on today, so be on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you want to be able to see that. And the the uh, gameplay is pretty slow. Um, if you don't like slow shooters, if you like just running gun like Call of Duty, this may not be the game for you because it requires a lot of patience. You have to really check all of your corners. You have to check, make sure that people aren't hiding around corners because... You can die pretty quickly if you don't do that. The bullets do a lot of damage because you're a human in this game, not some super soldier like in Call of Duty. And you just have to be pretty careful. You go ahead and you uh, hit these walls with left trigger and you're able to go into Gears of War style three, uh, third person shooter. And you have to be, have to hold the stick at the same time to aim the gun. So if you don't do that, you'll just randomly fire when you're firing. And that's a bit annoying to deal with, but... It's part of the game, and it doesn't really matter because you get used to it pretty quickly after a while. And this was uh, this is just a quick part in this. You see this gigantic man. Of course, he's gigantic. I don't know why. And you can't shoot through this glass, so no point in trying. You don't waste your bullets. And I'm going to fast forward through this tutorial as well. It teaches you how to move objects, and it allows you to learn how to get past this part of the level. Because if you didn't see earlier, I was completely clueless about what I was doing. <laughs> uh, I'd woken up at 5 in the morning to go get my cousin from the airport, then I went ahead and got this game at the Walmart that opened at 6. 
So I was pretty tired and I just wasn't paying attention very well. But I ended up getting through because of the tutorials and it's really nice how they really guide you through this introductory level and make sure you understand the game before getting into it. I chose the highest level, so this really, uh, in addition to the shooting, which, I mean, I guess it wasn't that hard because the enemies seemed pretty dumb, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty strange moving through the level for the first time because not used to the controls, not used to the using X for all the actions, that's, that's a bit different. And not used to being able to move dead bodies, <laughs> I, I wasn't, I did not realize that and then I picked him up and I was like, oh, I'm holding a dead body. And that's not usually something you want to be doing in life. You usually do not want to be holding new bodies. <laughs> but anyways, uh, here's another uh, tutorial, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry about this. There are a lot of tutorials in this game. And so if you saw anything from the last tutorial about moving objects, you could see that you could throw boxes at enemies and stuff like that and blow up tanks on them by throwing it at them. So that's a pretty cool feature, I thought. I haven't been able to utilize it yet, but I hope I'm able to utilize it sometime in the future because... It looks like a cool feature. They might have just added it to have some fun with you, but it's still an interesting thing to have. And the uh, if you notice in the combat tutorial, you have to... This is more of a strategy shooter than a run-and-gun shooter, so you have to be sure you're behind cover and stuff like that. Because if you're not behind cover, they can shoot you pretty well. They're dumb my AI, so if you're behind cover and you pop up, it doesn't seem like they're able to shoot you very well. Uh, this is the first time I've ever gotten into gun battle into this game, so... I didn't really know what I was doing, so I do get shot a couple times, but I live through it, and this is on the hardest level, so I can't imagine what it's like on the easiest level. I mean, first time playing and I get this sort of gameplay, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But anyways, uh, here's the uh, gunfight, I'm just hold, hold up back here. They have regenerating health, but it's extremely slow, and so you shouldn't expect to be able to take a bunch of bullets and then just hide behind cover and move on as I do here, because uh, I didn't take too many bullets, I guess. And I guess that guy didn't see me move or something, supposedly. So I was able to move past him and shoot him. This guy uh, almost got me there, but I poked my head up, uh, get a few bullets on him. That's a nice thing about this game. It's not like Call of Duty, you don't have to put 30 bullets into somebody to kill them. You can put a couple bullets into them, and they die. Like, you, I don't know, you do in real life. <laughs> I mean, I imagine you get shot a few times with assault rifle in real life, you're pretty hurt, or at least... I mean, dead or if not hurt, extremely badly, I mean, so, it's good that they're not super soldiers in this game, that's another great thing about this game. Uh, moving on though, uh, this opening scene is all about this, uh, this company that's invading our company, and they're all after this biomedical thing, and I have not played the first two Deus Exes, Deus Exes, I keep saying Deus because it's easier, but it's actually pronounced Deus, so don't know why they would choose Deus, it sounds sort of French or something. I don't know, are the game developers... Uh, the game developers are from Montreal, so maybe they're French. <laughs> so, Deus could be something in French. But, uh... Anyways, it's, uh... It's pretty nice. I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> so, see, that's me not holding down the left trigger when I'm shooting, so I'm shooting randomly right there. Which wasn't easy to get used to at first, but now that I've played it for an hour or so, um... It, it is an a easy system to get used to because you're holding that down to you're not doing anything with that anyway so you might as well hold it down and uh, I take this weapon but it's I don't yet have menus because you don't have menus in the introduction so you can't really do anything with it because you hold Y and nothing happens because it doesn't bring you to your quick menu so that was one thing I was disappointing with the introduction you can't use a variety of guns so the only gun I'm using right now I believe this is something like the FAMAS or I don't know what it's called because they don't really tell you but it's not like, like the FAMAS from Call of Duty I suppose it looks like that it has the two iron sights that line up and I guess all guns have two iron sights that line up but that's just how it goes <laughs> and I saw that dead body fly over and like oh that's not a good I mean once again dead bodies are not good <laughs> um, but we find this guy finally get over there dead guards and he's dead <laughs> Everybody's dead in this game, it seems. <laughs> every every single lab technician you run to didn't survive, so that's never a good sign when your whole company's uh, lab technicians are dead. So I'm actually uh, when I was playing this, I was playing with my co I had my cousin in the background. Uh, you know, as I uh, as I said earlier, I drove him in from the airport. And I was like, oh, you think I can take these four guys? He's like, yeah, yeah, go for it. I figured I might as well wait a little bit. 
And as you can tell, waiting pays off because this guy walks over and gives me an easy triple kill rather than a uh, rather than, uh, hard double kill and a thing. But as you can see there, I had some trouble with the controls because that aiming thing, you have to hold down the left trigger. It's a little bit hard to get used to. But hey, uh, I didn't get killed, so I was okay. So now I'm starting to realize, yeah, I need to get used to that. I shoot that barrel, it explodes in green gas and kills that guy. It's they're, I love how their barrel, their green Nova gas barrel was all over the place. So if you shoot them, you get some pretty easy kills. I get that third guy, and so there's my triple. Uh, I could have gotten the triple with the gun in the original part, but I didn't, so that's all right. And then uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with controls there, but then eventually I shoot and uh, try shooting randomly. And I reload, because you seem to have unlimited ammo in this introduction, but that's uh, that's all right. You don't have unlimited ammo past the introduction, though, so it gets a little bit, uh, I guess, a little bit harder. Yeah, I guess that's the way you could describe it. And finally, I get to the end of the level. I'm just approaching that right here. Uh, I didn't know that at the time, so I'm just getting there. Right past here, I caught on fire, so I don't know... I didn't know what to do, but I figured, all right, probably just a one-time thing. And here's the cutscene. Be sure to subscribe if you want more Deus Ex. Thanks for watching.